Hello everyone. So Nolan and I are on our way to Barnes and Noble because he has a soccer game today and there's a Barnes and Noble like 10 minutes away from that place. So you know I had to make a pit stop because your girl has hella gift card money at Barnes and Noble because Christmas and my birthday are like literally a month apart. And so everyone was like, oh, what does Grace like to do? Grace likes to read. So let's get her a Barnes and Noble gift card. I'm not ungrateful. It's just... I don't live near a Barnes & Noble. Like, there's not a Barnes & Noble in my town. So, I don't really go to Barnes & Noble that much. Like, if I buy books, it's either at, like, Target or Amazon or this, like, independent bookstore in my town. So, I knew that if I'm going to be within close proximity to a Barnes & Noble, like, I'm going. I'm headed there. So, yeah. That's what this vlog is going to be. It's currently Friday, February 17th. So I figured I would maybe vlog like this entire weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and make it like into a bookish reading vlog. I thought that would be really fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the camera into like the actual bookstore because I'm new at this and I still have like social anxiety when it comes to vlogging. Like I can't even vlog when Nolan's around. Like he's inside the store right now because he forgot his gym shorts for his game. So I literally had to wait for him to be out of the car for me to film this. So yeah, I will probably see you guys in a little bit once I'm like at the bookstore or once I visited the bookstore. Hey guys, Nolan and I just got back home. So I figured I would do a Barnes and Noble haul for all of you. So I didn't get a lot of books because I was trying to be picky. I wanted to make sure I bought books that I wanted to read, that I knew that I wanted to read. That was like part of my game plan. If it wasn't part of my plan, I did not get her. So I still have like some money left on my gift card. So we'll definitely have to go back. But yeah, so the first book I got was By a Thread by Lucy Score. Literally love the pink cover. Everyone has been obsessed with Lucy Score recently. I feel like I see her on my For You page like all the time, which is like, whatever, like justified. I haven't read a book by her, but I always hear good things about her. So this book is about a designer, I want to say like a clothing designer, and then like a girl and it's a workplace romance. It's Grumpy x Sunshine, I want to say. And yeah, I'm very excited to read her because I think a lot of like fashion and like retail is in this book. And like I'm a merchandising major, so I feel like this book is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Um, the second book I got is From Luke of With Love. It's by Mariana Zapata. Mariana Zapata is like the queen of slow burn romances and I've never read a book I've never read a book by her surprisingly so I figured it was time I'm gonna be honest with you though I know nothing about like any of the, her books like what they're about I literally thought this was a hockey romance that's why I picked it up but then I read the back and it's a figure skater romance not hating on it but pleasantly surprised I guess I kind of want to do a reading vlog on this so like let me know if that's like something you guys are interested in so yeah so those are the only two books I got because those were the only two books that were on my game plan that were like there. I wanted to see if they had Consider Me or like any Sophie Lark books, but they sadly did not. So yeah. Also, update, I finished The Legacy by L. Kennedy while I was at Nolan's soccer game because it was pretty long. Um... I don't know how long soccer games are gonna are supposed to be, but like usually his are like only 50 minutes. And I think the one today lasted about like two hours. I don't know, it was long, my phone was almost dead. So I figured I might as well just like read my book while I wait. Yeah, I finished this. Um, don't know, should I read it here? I guess I'll give you guys a little review. So the Off Campus series is like a comfort series for me. I just love all the characters, the friend dynamic, like mwah, chef's kiss. Plus it's like a hockey series, like just everything I love. This book, I know a lot of people are hating on it, but like, yeah, was she like perfection? No, was she a masterpiece? Yes, and hear me out. She did what she had to do. 
she put all my comfort characters in one place and gave them one last hurrah. I got to see all their happy endings, all their struggles again. Like, it was just so good. I think I would rate this like a 4.5. I don't think it's a 5 star just because I wasn't the biggest fan of like Hannah and Garrett's, um, oh, what's that called? Like little part, I think they were part four. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. I think Grace and Logan was my favorite, which is part one. Like that was just mwah, so good. And I love Sabrina. No, not Sabrina and Tucker's. Yeah, I also didn't like Sabrina and Tucker's like part in this either. So that's another reason why it's only a 4.5. But I really liked um, Logan and Grace's because that was like adorable. And I really liked um, Dean and Allie's mainly because it takes place like during Sabrina and Tucker's wedding and seeing everyone together again like just made the book for me. So yeah, The Legacy, a 4.5 star. So now that I'm done with like my current read, I have to figure out what I'm going to read next. I was thinking about reading one of the new books I got, but I think my heart is leaning towards Say You Swear. That has been on my TBR for a while now. It wasn't on my February TBR because honestly, I thought I wouldn't be reading as much as I did this month, but yeah. I'm probably not gonna read it right now though because I have to edit a video that I was supposed to edit like a week ago. So I'm probably gonna work on that and then I'll read Say You Swear. So yeah. So it is the next day, February 18th, Saturday. It literally took me all night to finish editing that video because everything kept going wrong. It was so frustrating, but we finally finished the video. It was so good. I'm so happy with like the results, but because it took me so long to edit that video, I never got to start Say You Swear. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Like it's Saturday. I'm allowed to rot in my pajamas and read all day. So no judgment, okay? I have my book, I have my coffee, I'm ready. later I took a shower kind of got ready but not really because I'm wearing the same hoodie that was in the last clip just not with my pajamas I'm wearing leggings instead I classed it up a little bit guys so but yeah I just started say you swear and I'm 100 pages in and I don't know how I feel about this book because Things are happening, okay? I'm trying to keep this spoiler free, but things are happening. Like, I was already on the verge of crying, and I'm only 100 pages in. So, yeah. On a lighter note, though, on every chapter, there's, like, a picture of this couple, and it's supposed to be Chase and Ariana, but, like, you cannot tell me that is not a Dolan twin. 
that is a 20 year eight that is a 28 year old man that is not an 18 year old football player i'm sorry but it's just hilarious and i thought maybe it'd be like a different picture each chapter no it's just the same picture of these two very attractive looking people just not what an average 18 year old would look like so so i'm on page 132 chapter 14 so i've literally only read 30 pages since the last clip but i just need to share my thoughts with you guys right now i don't know anything about this book i went into this book completely blind the only thing i knew was that it was a college football romance that's it okay i love noah and if he's not the main love interest like i'm gonna cry because it might also be chase but like i'm mad at chase right now chase made me cry so i'm team noah i have been team noah since the minute he stepped foot like on this page like when even when chase was in the picture like i just loved noah's character so much like he literally brought her like medicine so she wouldn't have a hangover like that's just so sweet he's just a sweet boy it's the next day and i'm 300 pages into say you swear i'm so obsessed with this book it is already giving me like five star vibes um i absolutely love noah i pretty sure like i'm like 98 percent sure he is the main love interest like he's supposed to be the main love interest i am a little embarrassed to say that it took me this long to figure that out but the whole time that like things were going well with them and like they were having cute moments ariana was like oh he's such a good friend friend vibes like i was like oh my gosh if he's just a stepping stone if noah is just a stepping stone so she can get back with chase i will be fuming because noah is just so sweet so i'm like if he's not the main love interest i will dnf this book but i do think i'm going to finish this book today so if i don't y'all can bully me in the comments or something because i am obsessed I just got to page 370 and say you swear and i'm gonna keep this spoiler free so do not worry if you have not read this book but if you know you know like i'm literally so shocked right now i'm shook so much is happening like all at once like my jaw was literally to the floor for about like 10 15 pages i'm not even kidding you yeah i i just had to like turn on the camera and like share that because i'm just like at a loss for words right now i'm going to finish this book today like it's a fact it's not a promise it is a fact i swear say you swear i swear hello everyone so it is the next day monday february 20th i am officially done with say you swear this book honestly it was such an emotional roller coaster um the last clip that i filmed like where i was like oh my god my jaw is to the floor yeah my jaw stayed to the floor until i finished this book because that's how much like was happening like so much drama like all this like stuff was happening all at once and i was living for it like honestly it low-key reminded me of like a lifetime movie but in a good way like i was just like hooked and all these like plot twists and like drama things were like thrown at me at like all at once i literally cried like five times i'm not even kidding um nolan had to like come in and check on me be like are you okay because i can hear you sobbing in the next room so yeah i love noah i think he's probably one of my favorite book boyfriends now um rightfully so because i just love him so much and usually i'm not a fan of friends to lovers but it's just it hit so well and if you you know i don't like friends to lovers so if i liked this book and i liked the friends to lovers trope in this book then you know it's good like you know it's worthy okay 
I am a certified Chase hater. Like, if you look at my annotations, it's literally, oh, I hate Chase. I hate Chase part two. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up, Chase. Like, I should have had my own, like, tab color for him with all the parts that he was annoying me because, yeah, literally hate that man with all my life. I would rate this book probably a five star, but again, I literally just finished it yesterday. So we'll see. Like I'll have a review posted on my bookstagram, currently dot overbooked. If you want to go follow it, I post daily. Um, but yeah, so I would probably go and check out my bookstagram review because it will probably be up when this video is up to see like my act like my final in-depth thoughts because honestly my brain is just like on haywire right now because I just I finished this book and I loved it and that's the only thing that my brain can like comprehend at this point but yeah I highly recommend this book like even if I don't end up rating it a five star I highly recommend reading this book because it's just so good I honestly wasn't the biggest fan of all the football stuff in it like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys I did skip through like Oh, he passed, like, to what's-his-face, and he's, like, he, and then he ran over and blah, blah, blah. Like, I literally, I skipped over those parts. I don't find football entertaining. However, I like football players, apparently. So, there we have it, guys. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this book. It's, I don't know if I ever, like, said what it's about, but it's basically about Ariana, Chase, and, um... Noah and Chase is Ariana's brother's best friend so it's so it kind of has like brother's best friend trope but not really because he's not really the love interest and it does kind of have a love triangle but that didn't really like peeve me off because it made sense because Ariana's first love is Chase she has been in love with him like since the minute she met him they were childhood friends um they go to a beach house their senior year, their, their summer before freshman year of college. And, and things happen, the relationship changes, however, it doesn't work out. And she is just like left in a really depressed state and like Noah helps her out of it just like by being there for her and like understanding her. And it's just so good takes place in college. It's a football romance. So Noah is the captain of the college football team. Chase is a football player. Ariana's brother is a football player. It's really good. It has like a really fun like friend group. And I'm going to be fair with you. At first, I was not feeling the book because there were so many characters like off the bat, like, oh, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so, and it was really hard to keep track of, but do not let that deter you or, like, discourage you from, like, reading this book because it's so worth it. Like, it's, a, like, a 500-page book, and I finished it in two to three days, so if that tells you anything, that should tell you everything. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you've read Say You Swear or if it's on your TBR because I just need people to fangirl over this book with. Like, I just can't. Like, it's so good. I will be talking about this book nonstop. Um, I post book videos probably like every week, I want to say. That's at least what I try to do. So if you like this video and you want to see more of me, then subscribe. I also have a bookstagram, which I mentioned previously, I think. It's currently dot overbooked. I post daily. I post reviews, reels, just like bookish content. It's a lot of fun. I love the book community. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.